dear parents, teachers and my dear children. On this auspicious day, we joyfully celebrate the feast of St. Thomas the Apostle, patron of India, patron of Archdiocese of Chennai, Mailapur and patron of our school, St. Thomas Nursery and Primary School, Santo. On this joyful day, I wish you all happy feast. May St. Thomas intercede to God for the entire family members of our school. May St. Thomas pray for us to be courageous in doing good, to have the great enthusiasm, the burning desire to know the truth and to live in faith always. May St. Thomas pray for us and protect us always. Thank you. God bless us. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 24 to 29. One of the twelve disciples, Thomas, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. Thomas said to them, Unless I see the scars of the nails in his hands, and put my finger on those scars and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, the disciples went together again indoors, and Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and look at my hands. Then stretch out your hand and put it in my side. Stop your doubting and believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Do you believe because you see me? How happy are those who believe Without saying the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, we thank you for the gift of St. Thomas, the patron of our school, who always guide and protect us. Your response, my Lord and my God, thank you. We express our gratitude. For the gift of our reverend father, respondent of our school, reverend sister, our headmaster, he loved to teach us for painting selfish service. God, we are ever thankful for the gift of our loving parents. They always care for us. They do lot of sacrifice and hard work for our growth. Your response, my Lord and my God. Thank you. God, we all thank you for our non-teaching staff. They always keep uh, our school neat and tidy. Your response, my Lord and my God. Thank you. God, we joyfully thank for all the students of St. Thomas Nursery and Primary School. Help us to learn every day. Keep us safe. Give a loving providence. Give a response on my Lord and my God. Thank you. Thank you.
Life History of St. Thomas God created the world and sent his only son Jesus to redeem the world. When Jesus died and rose on the third day, Jesus appeared to his disciples. When Jesus appeared to disciples, Thomas, one of the twelve apostles, called Thidims, was not with them. When other disciples said, We have seen the Lord, Thomas replied them, Unless I see mark of nails and place my finger in his mark and my hand into his side, I will not believe. After eight days, Jesus appeared again. When Thomas sees the Lord, Thomas answered, My Lord and my God. Jesus replied to St. Thomas, You have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and it have believed me. From that moment, St. Thomas is also called as Doubting Thomas. Jesus told the disciples to go around the world and spread the good news that Jesus had risen and spread the Christianity among the world. St. Thomas was chosen by God to spread the Christianity in India. St. Thomas Church in Malapur is built in the seashore of Bay of Bengal where the raging of the seas and the beauty of the nature we have blessed with St. Thomas Church. St. Thomas started his journey from Israel to South India and landed in Kerala. He started spreading the good news among the people. Many churches were built by him. Kodungallur, Palayur, Paravur, Kokkamangalam, Niranam, Nilakkal, Kuilan were the places where churches were built. Later, St. Thomas started his journey from Malabar to Mylapur. St. Thomas started preaching among the people in Malapur. Many of them heard about the good news and turned into the path of Jesus. Many turned against him and started to kill him. St. Thomas went to Little Mount and hid him. From there he went to St. Thomas Mount. But people found him and tried to kill him. And St. Thomas was killed with the sword. After his death, St. Thomas' body was buried in our St. Thomas Church. Only three churches were built over the tomb around the world. One among the three churches is our St. Thomas Church, which is in Malapur. We are blessed to be in this holy place. Good morning. On behalf of St. Thomas Nursery and Primary School children, I wish happy feast to our beloved correspondent father, headmistress sister and teachers on the feast of St. Thomas or Patron Saint. Thank you. Good morning. I am Jeeva Rajina. Today, I wish you all happy feast, my dear friends, as we celebrated the feast of St. Thomas, our patron saint. Thank you. Wishes by our teachers.